This is DITW Anatomy and Physiology, and you are watching the video on Loose Connective Tissues. Loose connective tissue is a category of connective tissue which includes areolar tissue, reticular tissue, and adipose tissue. All connective tissue is categorized and named based on its arrangement of connective protein fibers and the extracellular matrix which the fibers are suspended in. The connective protein fibers consist of collagen fibers, reticular fibers, and elastin fibers. So this particular category of connective tissue is called loose because of the loose arrangement of connective protein fibers found throughout the tissue as compared to other connective tissues. Let's look at each connective tissue individually to see their function and how they differ in terms of their fibers and extracellular matrix. Areolar tissue is named after its very open structure, which allows for interstitial fluid to fill its space. It is composed of a semi-fluid ground substance with a meshwork of collagen, elastic, and reticular fibers. Cells found in this tissue include fibroblasts, plasma cells, adipocytes, mast cells, and macrophages. Areolar tissue is widely distributed throughout the body, found commonly underneath epithelial tissue layers like the lamina propria of the mucous membranes. Reticular tissue is named after the reticular fibers which dominate most of the composition of its structure. It is composed of a very fine meshwork of reticular fibers with cells including fibroblasts, referred to as reticular cells, and lymphoblasts. The purpose of this tissue is to provide a support structure, stroma, to lymphoid organs like the lymph nodes, spleen, and tonsils, bone marrow, and liver. Our last tissue, adipose tissue, is what people are most familiar with out of all three since this is typically referred to as the fat tissue of the body. The structure of adipose tissue is that it is mainly composed of fat cells known as adipocytes. Other cells you may find interspersed in this tissue includes preadipocytes, fibroblasts, and macrophages. The primary purpose of this tissue is for energy storage, since fat or lipids is a great method for long-term energy storage. Adipose tissue also provides warmth to the body through its ability to insulate, and provides cushioning to the body's organs to reduce potential damage. For more information regarding specific types of connective tissues, please see other videos on my page. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please make sure to leave it a thumbs up down below. If you have any questions related to anatomy and physiology, please leave your questions down in the comments section below. And make sure to subscribe to know when more anatomy and physiology videos become available. Once again, thank you.